Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the something th Rocket League game of our varsity team. Um, this is the first live stream, though, of it. Um, I will be your host, Storm, the lad who put this little ditty together, I guess. Uh, and we're going to be watching our wonderful, wonderful varsity Rocket League team. team are we playing again? <laughs> um, uh, the Falcons. Yep. <laughs> Wait a 
Testing, 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 test, test, cool, okay, did that fix it? Wow, okay, uh, no one has been hearing my lovely, lovely commentary. I'm a little upset about that, but do you want to know what they are going to be upset about? They are going to be upset about the way that this clownage is taking place. Because right here, uh, actually, hang on, uh, I'm going to make sure, uh, can you actually hear me on the stream now? Let's see. Oh, right, I should probably actually be spectating. Um, we are on that auto cam as the ball is just going forward, and Peeps is... Thieves is trying to make something happen, hitting the ball away from the goal. Oh, and the Coyotes are just barely able to get it over to the enemy side. As Tony has just demoed another one, definitely getting many, many, many of those goals from star points. All right. As we can see from this uh, incredible footage, Centra is uh, currently has a ball on top of his windshield. I, I like to call this technique wrong. Uh, because he, the way that he just stumbles the ball towards the end zone, you know, as he just dunks it right into the basket for a home run. Oh, and there's that instant replay as why we know that Centra is the official CBHS varsity team's something or other. I have no idea what the positions are in this game, but what I do know is that ball is in a position that our team does not like. 
but the Coyotes are back on the attack again as Tronius knocks it over to the enemy. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I should probably apologize for the fact that I was not audible in the slightest at the beginning of the stream. Uh, we are having some technical difficulties, but if you want to know what isn't a technical difficulty, is the absolute gamer moment that Sentra had right there as he just slams that ball directly into the Falcons' goal. And the kickoff, as uh, we have Sentra, but we get a nice save from Bull Crib. I cannot read half of these. Oh, and are they going to get their first score in the game? They are! Ah, oh, devastating for the Coyotes. Doing this voice is hurting my voice. Three, two, one. Second until the Coyotes once again fly into the sky. But the only thing flying today would happen to be the ball as a ball kicks it away from the goal that they were trying to get to using a very special technique called tactically inting that I've only ever heard about in the highest of ELOs. But speaking of ELO, it must stand for extreme uh, layer automatrists because they just absolutely eyeballed where they wanted to send that ball and sent it there immediately. I kind of, what is an optometrist? I forget, is it? that's like eyes, right? I have no idea. What I do have an idea of is that that countdown has started yet again, and you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. It means that they are off, and Tronius hits the ball over directly onto the Falcon side. It is still in the neutral zone. It turned a weird orange color. I think that means it has enough power points as Beam scores, getting all of the special golden star assists from Tronius. Alrighty, and they are off yet again. I should probably find another way to describe the fact that they are currently, um, like, a, a bound ahead, going. Um, but speaking of things that are a bound ahead and or going, uh, did you know that you went, um, I actually don't know what you, did you know? Um, shoot, I should probably... Oh, I have to spin this direction in order to untangle my headphone wire from this here uh, lovely, lovely computer. As Tronius gets another goal, Tronius is just on fire tonight as Sentra is popping off in the only way that a car can, and that is by popping hubcaps. And what is a hubcap? It's a thing that protects tires. Since you all know who isn't tired, the Campo Verde Coyotes tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as they once again rush back onto the field. The ball is on the Falcon side. If we get Wolf, Wolf, Wolf demoed, he's going to be down for another 2.76 gigajoules. I'm pretty sure that is like a power measurement, but it sounded right in my head. You want to know what also is in the heads? A victory for the Falcons because it does not seem to be nearby. But what is nearby is the ball to Phoebes as he hits it, setting it up yet again for an insane play by literally no one as Wolf, Wolf, Wolf misses the ball entirely. But you want to know who isn't missing the ball? Cetra, as Phoebes also just goes directly under it. But Tronius is able to make something happen again as they start to rally around passing to each other. And that is an excellent pass to oh, wonderful Cetra. The ball is once again going orange. I think that means that it is loaded up on its ultimate ability and is soon to become a special uh, empowered ball that gives you double the points when you sink it. Oh, but you see, Sentra's hit didn't do much there because, unfortunately for him, he did not build ability power at the beginning of the match, so therefore the laning phase was really screwed up, and he had to wait until the River Rose respawned. Of course, if they got the teal buff, then this ball could, in fact, be sunk into the Falcon's uh, goal. Nest. Nest. Yeah, that sounds cool. But do you want to know what isn't cool? The way that this ball is just not any goals lately as they are just running out the clock right now, ladies and gentlemen. But do you wonder what it is also running? That their ball as it starts off moving to the other side with the Falcons. One minute remaining for some kind of comeback to happen. But unfortunately, it would appear that none is happening because Sentra just absolutely denies any and all hopes and dreams of the enemy. We see a nice little Spider-Man technique there as he flies and spins around 
but Tronius, unfortunately, is our school's Doc Ock, because he is shutting down any and all techniques that involve the air. Getting that nice demo in while 30 seconds remaining, could this possibly be another W for the Campo Verde Coyotes? We will get right back to that after this two second break. 1-1000 to 1000, and it would appear that they are still going. I do not know what I'm looking at, but there are a lot of pretty colors. And with 10 seconds left on the clock, there is no more hope for victory, as Campo Verde will be the victors of match two. Ayo, hey, welcome to the stream, Derp underscore. Thank you for watching our beautiful, beautiful game as our fantastic Coyotes are waiting at the field. It looks like something's about to happen as the first kickoff of the game, possibly the final game, because I believe it's best of five. Let's see here. Ooh, a nice... Tronius is just on fire, demoing all of them, but Phoebes gets a little bit because he really wants to get those floaties in. I think if he gets enough frags, he'll get enough gold to absolutely dunk that ball using Rudin's Hurricane. And we are off as the Coyotes are just flying forward. Let's watch a little bit of Tronius gameplay here. He is currently schmoovin' to get to Wolf, doing a little bit of a weird dodge technique. Let's take a look at what Phoebes is doing. Phoebes is doing absolutely something, probably something really technical as he hits the ball using that special technique I like to call running over the enemy. This is also a very, very effective technique on the, oh, wait a minute, that joke was gonna be a little out of pocket. So instead of that, let's slip that back into our pocket and instead, find that Phoebes has absolutely returned Wolf 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 to the enemy spawn. But do you want to know it isn't spawning? That's right, that ball, and more specifically, a victory for the Falcons, because it would seem that even though the scores are more and more so tied up and is taking much, much longer for any sort of action to be happening on the field, we do still know for a fact that somewhere in those little brains of theirs, they are pulling together a strategy and in our little brains, we are also pulling together a strategy. Because every single person on this team really wants to make something happen. And speaking of making things happen, we get another goal from Central. Pull like a butterfly, sting like a bee, we fly like a hawk, we fight like a coyote. That right there rhymes and is the fight song for the Coyotes as they hit the ball once again. Let us see if the Falcons can fly. They're kind of ignoring the ball in an interesting move. But so are we. So who are we really to judge? As the ball begins glowing blue, I think this flashing means that the end zone is lit and it is time for them to dunk into the basket. And speaking of which, if they truly... I believe if they got their quarterback to go a little bit faster, we could probably make something happen here. Oh, and it would appear that Phoebes has set up something crazy. Maybe Tronius can capitalize? Oh, oh, it's inbound. Oh, it's inbound. Oh, oh, but that was a good save from one of us. I forget who it is, but who is there to save them as Tronius absolutely demolishes that their goal. And that is 3-0. For our lovely coyotes. That, that voice is hurting my throat. I'm gonna quit. But I'm not going to quit with the energy as everyone is just having a great time. Just moving and moving and that was not even a competition. As they do a special technique right over there that I like to call the Yoinky Sploinky. It's where you take a car and you use it to hit another car, making enough of a boost that the centrifugal force allows them to get just enough mana regen to be able to push that ball into the enemy goal. And it appears that Coyotes have wings because Cetra and uh, 
Thebes are both flying, or at least they were. But do you want to know what's flying now? It's the ball. The ball is into the air, and you get it for some kind of setup. Centra passes it down, but who did he pass it to? Hopefully to Tronius, no to himself, and that's okay. But unfortunately, Bolt was able to steal the ball as Phoebes gives Wolf 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 another reason to cry tonight. Oh, the ball is getting dangerously close to the Coyotes' goal, but they are able to smack it right out of there. Get it back on to the enemy side. Those orange lights are glowing again. I'm starting to think that isn't actually related to the game. It is just kind of a the ball's on this side thing. But what is the fun in that? It's white right now just like the rising sun that rises over our victory today if our Coyotes can pull this through. But it would appear they can as they absolutely stop and lay up a pass immediately after that failed shot on the goal so that Tronius and Centra can come in to lock up another wonderful, wonderful lock kind of pass that but the ball is currently on bold, and boy is he bold to be fighting Tronius today. As Tronius does that thing he wants to do. Oh, he is doing that lovely loop de loop by the Top Gun maneuver uh, from hit movie Top Gun Maverick. Uh, very rare maneuver. And speaking of rare maneuvers, Centra is about to show them the hit game Among Us because he is in the middle of all of them, and they don't even see him. But do you want to know what Tronius sees? That's right, the ball. With one minute remaining, the Coyotes are on their way to lay up the ball and just send it directly into the enemy outfield. But unfortunately, Wolf 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 is able to load all of the bases. And it would appear that the shot clock is starting to tick down. But Centra is just absolutely smooth with the... Oh, my Wolf 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 gets it off. I am just... I said I would say Wolf Cubed earlier because it's quicker. At this point, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. But I do know that somehow they just actually scored on the Coyotes. Will we be able to recover from this devastating 4-1 defeat? Oh, wait, we're, we're blue. Um, will we be able to... Will they be able to turn it around? Yeah. Will we see? We will see. We got him doing those weird eyebrow movements. Um, those movements could, in fact, make his car faster. And through that in increased speed, he will create a curve on the ball that makes Sentra's hands physically explode in real life. But unfortunately for them, Sentra just likes explosions a lot and is able to get that ball directly into the enemy goal. 22 seconds left on the clock until it would appear that the Coyotes did not get that their first um, that, that first kickoff. But what they are going to get is a nice block here as Tronius and Centra once again perform that yoinky spoinky I was referring to earlier. And five more seconds on the clock and it would appear that the Coyotes are the victors. That's the last one, right, boys? Yeah? All right. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been your host, Storm. Oh, boy, our JV team has not even started. Do I even have time? Maybe. Yeah, okay. Uh, looks like this stream is going to be moving onward to the junior varsity team and... Would you look at that? We have two viewers. Thank you for coming out, ladies and gentlemen, or just gentlemen, or just ladies, or whatever you are, or whatever you care to be. We don't care, but we do care about you. And who are we? Well, we are the Campo Verde Coyotes Junior Varsity Team now, I guess, because um, their game hasn't even started yet. So, um, technical difficulties, yeah. Um, I... Now, this is where I would show you the lovely, lovely stream. Um, some kind of cool graphic of some variety. But unfortunately, that requires a budget. And the thing about budget is, I, Ty, do not have one. So, I am currently fueled exclusively by Cheetos and Hot Chips. Thank you very much. Yay. What? I thought that was a real game. Yeah. Thank you for getting me set up. What an absolute lad. 
Now, that right there is a pretty swaggy code. But do you want to know what isn't swaggy, ladies and gentlemen? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I think finding a way to segue that joke would take one year of improv class that I have not taken yet. But do you want to know what is going to be taken? This W by our JVT. What? All right. Spectate, let's. And they are off. Oh boy, this stage is really cool. Uh, it happens to have that nighttime feature, which the cool thing about nighttime is it makes all the lights glow more. And everyone knows that better RGB, the better RGB equals better GG. And speaking of GG, it would appear that the ball is in the Coyotes' court, but they are able to knock it back over to the. I actually don't know who they're uh, fighting right now. Um, the stream name isn't accurate anymore. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Desert Ridge. So, uh, wh what's their mascot? Rattlers? Tornado. I don't know. I am sorry, Desert Ridge, if I am miss saying your mascot. Um, my grasp of geography is interesting. But do you want to know what else is interesting? The places that this here ball is going. It would appear that Nate has a wonderful, wonderful score. But do you want to know what else is wonderful? This automatic camera that we are witnessing right here. Uh, chops to the AI cameraman as we are able to get the ball. The Coyotes are able to make that goal. But oh, it gets just passed up. Oh, they are so close to making something happen here. But do you want to know what isn't happening? That ball touching the ground. It is launched into the air. T. Strange is doing some kind of strange rotation maneuver like we saw in the Apollo 11 moon landing. And speaking of landing, that ball has finally touched the ground but is still in Desert Ridge's court. That voice is really hurting my voice. Okay, I'm gonna quit doing that. <laughs> I need water after this. Here we go. Muzzled Wolf is able to... Oh, but Pretty Toaster blocks that pass. Shot, whatever that was. I have no idea. I played soccer once when I was like seven. But here I am commentating for you live on Twitch.tv slash CBHS Coyotes. And speaking of being live, do you want to know what else is alive? Those enemy players who currently knocked the ball into our court, but we are able to just barely get it back onto their side, possibly for the first goal of the game, but oh, it just barely gets past. But they, it looks like they are trying to make something happen here. Um, some kind of, oh, but we, we are seeing the Spider-Man moves today, but unfortunately it would appear that Spidey has taken a beating. We are watching Spider-Man 3 when he has the symbiote suit. He hasn't quite come into his full power yet when he's able to shed the symbiote suit and be the true man he is, but we are able to get the goal! Woo! As the Coyote JV team scores their first goal of the match. Could this be indicative of their future goals? We will see. As the RLCS theme plays, I'm assuming that means for, um, why are we losing at crab spotting? And you know, there's one thing I can say about people who cannot spot crabs. It is they can play Rocket League. And our team here today, our Campo Verde Coyotes, are absolutely killing it on the court as the ball almost gets into our, but we're able to pass it off of wool. T Strange is doing something truly strange as he kind of does a weird reverse maneuver. Oh, but they're almost able to get it and we are able to get it right back. Two minutes left on the clock. This one's going to be interesting. It's really close. Come on, Wolf, you can do it. Oh, as they score on us, it is tied up. Stay frosty, boys. Now, as you can see, those butterflies coming off of them probably means that their tree forest is infested with butterflies. Now, the issue with having an infested tree forest is that it means that enemy laners can definitely come in and get your neutral items, which is especially bad if you're trying to uh, make something happen on the off lane. And speaking of lanes, Wolf is absolutely sending it down theirs, maybe making something happen, but oh, unfortunately, it would appear that it is Knight's... Okay, that is fair. I will let them focus. Because they're a little bit closer to me than Marcy was. 
Let's see. Nice save on that. Pass here. Oh, and Pretty Coaster is able to finally secure that second goal that brings the Coyotes back into the lead. Good job, Coyotes. Oh, and up the layoff as the ball goes into their court. Maybe God of Knights can make something happen here, but it would seem that Nate the Brownie has made a score of passage onto their toaster, trying to make something happen. Wolf nearly making a shot on the ball, but unfortunately for them, the enemy team has just voted for the sauce. I'd say their court cup meeting, and that's a real hard shame because if they were just any less work up, we could have made something happen there. But fortunately, we are quite goaded with the sauce. I would even say we busted it down at this point. And speaking of busting it down, that ball is refusing to go down, which is good for Wolf as he is able to get it out of our court and immediately back into the enemy's side, but they send it right back over to the Coyotes. Field on Chink, that was a good save from Wolf. Crazy plays all around, ladies and gentlemen. Seconds left on the clock. Back in our court as, oh boy, can we make something happen? Wolf hits that ball harder than Amaranth's new album. We need to see, can they make something happen here? 10 seconds. Can the Coyotes lock up this first victory of the night? Well, the, the, the JV Coyotes, Varsity already locked up a victory. And they can, that is one W for the Coyotes. Nice job, Junior Varsity. We have an interview from this lad over here. Uh, what would you like to say? Wonderful interview. Uh, you can tell that they are all very, very passionate about what they do. They are just so good at rocketing their leagues. Did you know that Rocket League is actually the sequel to a uh, hit game from, uh, I don't know, like the PS3 era or something? I didn't until I looked it up like approximately five seconds ago, specifically with the express purpose of letting you all know just how nutty we are going. And speaking of nutty, that ball is going wherever it wants. You could even say it's going to the peanut gallery. See how I tied that joke in there at the end? That right there is what we call a technique called yes and. Oh, as they accidentally score on us. I did not notice that. Um, that, wow, okay. Uh, but we do know that something really wild is about to happen here because they have unleashed the White Dragons. And I believe, from what I know about White Dragons, they give about 14% increased movement speed. White Dragons give you 14% increased movement speed if you take them out, but only if you are sure that the bot lane is prone to priority. Yeah, Rocket League of Legends. Same game. I know what I'm doing. Wolf is able to make something happen. He's in, he's out, the ball's out too, and Nate the Brownie is able to hit it right back over to our side. Really a good shot there. Uh, Pretty Toaster is able to slap Nate the Brownie harder than the second shot of the backseat as they get another goal! And now the score is tied up for our Coyotes. Can they make this Deborah Downer into a Wowza Wower? That didn't even rhyme, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, we'll the drop. He does a nice little triple bounce here. Uh, Rupamag, I do not know how to pronounce that. Um, I'm assuming the name is Scandinavian in nature. And speaking of Scandinavia, they are very, very good at making kolaches there. The kolaches are pigs in a blanket, but really big. And what is big is the goal he just scored on T Strange. See how I tied it in at the end there. As he just barely pushes past, I like to call that the Gary's Mod lag prop source engine technique, as the ball just kind of jiggles there. Speaking of jiggling, the ball is once again at it again at Christmas Dreams, and it is just full force into the space right above the goal, but they get another goal. 3-1. It would appear that our JB team is cracked harder than the egg that I could barely afford because of the skyrocket of egg prices. All 
Alright, we got God of Knights, we got Pretty Toaster, but do they have the ability to stop them? We will see as they begin doing the special technique I like to call the up, 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 um, which in my people's tongue roughly translates to, um, Flight of the Roaring Dragon. And speaking of Roaring Dragons, they have sent the ball into their own goal. <laughs> That right. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> alright, 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 the kickoff again. Nate the Brownie is looking to redeem himself after whatever that just was. But unfortunately it would seem that the ball has other plans as it is making a great impression of the stock market constantly rising and falling with literally no actual Wow, okay. We are just popping off today. I would even say that our gamers right here at the lovely Camp Verde High School happen to be absolutely getting sturdy with it. Ladies and gentlemen. Now as you can see, the ball is quickly staying low and hoping nobody sees it. Uh, this technique right here, I like to call the um, spherical gritty is... <laughs> How God of Knights plans to absolutely land that ball while they can't see it. Still keep it low. Right foot creep directly into Nate the Brownie's loving arms. And speaking of loving arms, that their ball does not want to go into the goals. As T Strange just doesn't miss it, but the person before him does. And we're able to get another goal for the Coyotes! RJB team might just be gamer material. And what material are gamers made of? That's right, the Cheetos dust that comes off of Doritos. And my friends right here are pure of the stuff. And speaking of pure, they ball hop last that ball directly into the Coyotes goal. It is very unfortunate, um, very, very sad. But a lot of nights they will stop them. But T Strange, T Strange accidentally sets off the um, hit film Frozen 2 by Disney Nuke. Um, now, the downside of the hit Frozen 2 uh, bomb being detonated is that it leads to a really, really difficult time in the early laning phase. Um, you have to pull your pain and minions a little bit further in order to make that happen, and the timing for that is difficult. But, as you can see, Paul is just once again going crazy, and Nate the Brownie does not seem to know exactly the location with which to strike a uh, ball with a rocker powered soccer battle ball. And speaking of rocket-powered soccer battle cars, God of Knights is certainly piloting one, as that ball is just sent rollicking back into his goal. It would appear that the enemy is trying to do a little bit of a layup here, but God of Knights is able to save it right back. The ball does a little bounce, I like to call that technique the middle de boop as it just goes right off the ceiling. Top hat maneuvers. Speaking of which, we're seeing some rotation here. Uh, Maxwell the Cat type of action going on. And speaking of action, Nate the Brownie does not seem to want to be the star because he just completely missed. But speaking of missing, they are going to be missing that ball as God of Knights saves it. Specifically that goal is what they're going to be missing. T Strange is trying to get back in contact with it, but unfortunately it's just not answering their calls, not returning them. In fact, it would appear that the goal that they were looking for was actually this whole time with Campo, but um, that that would have been really good setup. This one back 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 back. Back. But there is one minute left, and I do not know if the real goal is the friends we made along the way. But what I do know is that they might be the victors of match two. All right, I should probably watch the game to you know how these are shout <laughs> Now, Nate the Brownie is uh, doing an interesting thing there. Um, the I like to call that the, uh, the, 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 uh, and the interesting thing about the puzzle uh, uh, is that it seems to do nothing whatsoever for the team, except actually set them up for a really nutty goal there. Uh, that is quite unfortunate. It took about two minutes and seven seconds. But better late than never. Better Nate than never. And who is Nate the Brownie? We are going to see what the Coyotes answer to this devastating goal is. 
God of Knights color may be blue, but his color is green. And oh wait, I just realized those are the school colors. I don't know how I didn't catch that one that one before. But will the green and copper pull through? It would appear they will, because you are looking at the victors in our second game of the night. Just one more win for the Coyotes, and we will have a complete sweep, both teams, if only the Varsity League of Legends team could get a win. <laughs> oh, I should probably ready up, and speaking of being ready, are you ready for next Tuesday when we probably get eaten by whatever team we go up against? But you guys are going to get to witness it in 4K, just not with my lovely voice because I'm going to be too busy um, playing. Oh, yeah, right. That would be the thing that you do in this game. Yeah. Oh, boy, and they are off. That ball is just, it's going somewhere. Speaking of somewhere, I need to. Absolutely fantastic as it would appear that the ball has a mind of its own. But the thing about minds that they can be read and wolf is an avid reader. Oh, but the ball is back and it would seem that God of Knights is going to take his place on the throne. The true one and only pretty toaster looking beautiful, but unfortunately wolf is not howling tonight. It is indeed his ball. I do not know if you guys can actually hear their commentary or not, otherwise some of this wouldn't make sense. Then again, none of it makes sense. That's the beauty of being here at Campo, as C Strange scores another goal. That is quite unfortunate for our Coyotes. Will um, Desert Ridge be able to turn around this sad, sad series of events that they have been had rock upon themselves? Um, but it would appear that they do, in fact, wish upon themselves the physical experience of having a good time. Because the ball is certainly having a wonderful time being batted around back and forth. And back and forth also can be said front and back. And the thing about fronts is that they go directly into the enemy hole as this whole thing has just been a distraction. But T Strange sees through my ruse. The clever ruse was in fact a deception, and the clever deception was in fact a ruse, and the thing about ruses is that if you see through them, you can indeed lay up the ball, and the ball is being laid up by Wolf, and the thing about laying is that when you lay up awake at night, you become tired, but you want to know who isn't tired today? The Campo Verde Coyotes, but unfortunately Sea Strange is still able to wrestle control of that ball away from them. Oh, but Wolf is able to send him right on that. What a play! Oh, what a play. That right there was just... So close. What? Trying to get my audio down? Okay. Let's see. Uh, audio output capture. Is that better? audio oh it would appear we have a notification of some kind all right oh boy thank you architectural woodworker 42 for following on this lovely evening you know that we love to have people here watching the CVHS league team 
have a rollicking time on the field today. One minute 40 left on the clock, just nearly there. We are Coyotes just trying to make a play, trying to get that ball back into the enemy goal where it's meant to be like a long lost lover. It seeks its entrance into the domain of champions. And do you want to know who are the champions? Campo Verde Coyotes tonight as they do not score that goal. Wow, please guys. I'm not trying to set up really cool jokes here. But Wolf is able to set up the ball way better than I could ever hope to set up a joke. And speaking of jokes, that little block attempt kind of was one. And Pretty Toaster unfortunately gets demoed. But the good thing about being demoed is that demo starts with the letter D. And D is the fourth letter of the alphabet. And four is one more than three. And three is the amount of players on a Rocket League team. And the Rocket League team we are watching right now might be the best in the entire world. Because they are setting up this here ball for greatness to get that final goal can we see if the JV Rocket League team is able to turn this around at 50 seconds one chance one hope one dream one team what what uh, he head topped that according to the uh, Campo mid laner um, I'm assuming that is gods of Knights because he's listed as the second person on the team um, and speaking of teams, our team is going to make something happen. Hopefully 30 seconds on the clock. You can do it, Campo Coyotes. We believe in you every single day of every single moment of every single second. You know that they are grinding out here on Rocket League to try and get that goal as they tie up the game. The Coyotes might just pull through. Never before have I ever seen someone rocket this much league. And they're off, but the ball is also off and barely misses the goal. Can they tie it up? Seven seconds. It's sudden death. And speaking of death, it comes for us all. But what's going to come for them could be a goal as he blocks it. 2 2, zero seconds on the clock. How are they gonna do it? Overtime, live or die, the moment of truth. I'm jo Jordan Bluth. I do not know, and that sense of humor was quite strange. But do you wanna know what else is strange? The fact that the enemy team has any chance of winning because our boys, they believe, they conceive, they can see. I hope they can see. I don't know. I think one of them has glasses. I have glasses too, buddy. It's okay. But do you want to know what isn't okay? The fact that they just almost scored a goal, but we are on the attack, coming back. Muzzled Wolf slaps him into the sun, and it's not fun, but I'm going to stop trying to rap because I have a Pacific Northwestern accent. And speaking of things that are fun, as we can see, the ball is currently having the time of its life being rocked around from place to place. Can Campo get that final goal? No, they cannot. It looks like they are back on the defense. Oh, but it would seem to me that the heart of the cards is what I believe. As we are able to get the game winning game. And that is you are looking at your victors of today's game. Varsity, Junior Varsity, what team? Doesn't matter, one family. And that family are the Campo Verde Coyotes who have just won against their opponents, Desert Ridge. More RGB equals more GG, and we, sir, have got the RGB. Thank you for watching, everybody.